everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kelsey. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. Today I am doing a behemoth of a video. I have so many empties that I have to go through where I'm going to try and just do like quick yes, no, love it, don't, whatever. But every time I say that, I end up rambling. So I'm going to try and stay on track. I'm going to try and be quick with it because it's probably already going to be a pretty long video. Okay, guys, so if you are not new, you know that I started this new job and I have to be at work at 4 a.m. And I have been really tired adjusting to this. And I feel like it's just my personality isn't coming off as much. So if I seem out of it or dead or anything like that, it's because this job so bear with me. I'm trying to get my bearings down, but let me tell you guys, it is, it is really hard to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to lie. It's really hard. Um, I will say it has been nice because Ryan has been out of town. So I've been able to turn on the lights and kind of like wake up the house early, which I don't know if you're the same as me, but I love a good quiet morning by myself. It's really nice when Ryan's not here because he sleeps in where I get to like open everything up and just enjoy my morning. I love it. Let me know if you're a morning or night person because I am for sure a morning person, not a night person. I will fall asleep by nine o'clock probably. So that's where I'm at in my life. <laughs> but without further rambling, I have my coffee. I am going to try and stay awake throughout this entire video. This entire video, I'm going to try and be awake. Um, but let's let's get into the haul. Okay, so these are my two most recent empties. First up, I have the Tatcha Camilla Oil Cleanser. No. Um, basically, because this is so expensive for an oil cleanser, I have realized I'm kind of a balm person, but then I use the balm and I hate sticking my hand in it. So I don't really know which I am. I, I might be more of an oil person, but... Truthfully, this does not get my eye makeup off as well as other oils I have used. I want to go back to the pharmacy green clean balm or whatever because if I remember correctly, that one worked the best. But this one just does not get my eye makeup off. I would have to do one pump for my face and then one pump for my eyes. So, no. Just too expensive. No. No. Next up is this Innisfree Ample Honey Toner. I have spoke about this on my channel before. I really like this. It is pretty inexpensive if I remember correctly. This is just a good hydrating toner that I put on in the morning and it just hydrates your skin. I really love it, especially going into those winter months. This is gonna be really good on your skin. So this is the Whey Scalp and Body Scrub and this is in the St. Bart's scent. So the only way that I can really describe it is like coconut, vanilla, holiday, like it's just, it smells really tropical and delicious. This scrub, I love, I love Way. Um, I have their detoxing shampoo and I love it. This scrub, I love their scents. Their scents are incredible, impeccable. I love them. These are like a splurge for me when the sale comes around. The other ones, the super cheap sugar scrubs that you can get, I use those more regularly just because of the price point. These I use probably one, once in a while, just on like nice occasions or when I wanna feel fancy, but I might repurchase this on sale. So this is like right in the middle. Another Way body product is the Way body cream. So this is in the scent. I don't even know if it says. This smells like an elevated, clean, I want to say baby powder, but that's not it. But it kind of has that reminiscent smell. This body cream soaks in so incredibly fast. And the smell lasts a pretty long time on my skin. I really, really enjoy this. I am using another one right now that I think I enjoy just a little bit more. But this one is incredible. I, I love this one. Cannot sing its praises enough. Would repurchase any day, anytime. Love it. 
And I did use up another deodorant. This is the Dove Nourishing Secrets in the Calming Ritual 48 hour antiperspirant. So this deodorant is incredible. I love the scent. It smells like I'm wearing a perfume. Like I wore this in the gym. This is the Water Lily and Sakura Blossom. I wore this in the gym the first time and I was wondering like, who put perfume on? It smells so good. It was this. I am a very sweaty person. So finding a good antiperspirant is really a big deal for me and this worked really well. I do have to switch it out every single time just cause my underarms do get really used to it. it it's, it's a chore, but I will be going back to this Dove one. I love it. It's really great option. So then next up is the Moroccan oil restorative hair mask. So this was all the rage in, I want to say like 20, 2011, maybe. Oh, still water. Um, this was all the rage back, back in the day, but I finally tried it because I need a good hair mask here in Colorado. My hair is so dry. Um, so I always need a good one on hand. Figured I'd try this one. I like it. I don't love it. So I have found that with the Moroccan oil scent, I like it for the first couple of times, but then after that, I just, I, I'm not a fan. Um, it smells fine. Like I said, I like it the first few times, but then after that, I'm just kind of over it. The, my hair was always very soft when using it. I think it's a great solid mask. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say. Might repurchase this actually. Just, I don't know because of the scent, but well, yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I stand on this one because the scent is not my favorite, but other people really, really, really love this scent. So give it a shot if you're curious, just go smell it. Maybe that's my recommendation, just go smell it. So this is really random. This is the Olay Vitamin C B3 Cleansing and Revitalizing Body Wash. I picked this up just out of whim. I randomly get this. And you guys, this is my absolute favorite scent, the yellow one. I hate the purple one. I tried that one for night, hated it. Went and just smelled the other ones because I really like the way that my skin feels after using this. And I am obsessed with this scent, the yellow one specifically. I am using the white one right now. It smells fine, um, but this one, I just, I love this smell. Uh, has vitamin B3, vitamin C, whatever. Um, this smell lasted on my skin. I really, really enjoy this. Like I said, now I have the white one. So I'm obviously sticking in the family and basically repurchased it, but already in a different scent. So really like this one. So kind of random are these Goalie Nutrition Ashwagandha Gummies. These were fine. I mean, I'm on a pretty high... I mean, I take pills every night to help me sleep. So this just kind of accompanied it. Didn't really notice a difference. Um, probably won't repurchase these just because I didn't. Um, and then people do use these throughout the day for anxiety. I have heard pe this work for people. It just, it doesn't work for me. There is, how much ashwagandha in here? There's 300 milligrams of ashwagandha. So it is a pretty high dosage. Um, but it just, it doesn't do much for me as far as anxiety or sleep, but I have a really high tolerance for things like that. So it could work better throughout the day for you. Maybe just, I'm not sure, but I will not be repurchasing these solely based on that. So the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, this one is completely out. Like nothing's coming out. So everybody, I see raves about this one. They always say the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo works really, really well. I liked it. I just felt like it almost made my hair more sticky, like in the roots. You know that like almost greasy, dirty feeling? Yeah, I just felt like it kind of gave it that, which was great for texture. But if I just wanted my hair to look clean, it almost made my hair look dirtier. So this is going to be a no-go for me. Y'all, I have so much shit. So this is the Tangerine Squeeze Hair and Body Mist number six from the Mix Bar at Target. So I remember actually getting this and I got a perfume to go with it and I thought that they were a great combination. Um, I could not wait to finish this because the scent does not stay on me. 
it smells fine would not repurchase this maybe a different scent because i do like getting body sprays and then kind of mixing in a perfume on top of that as well so i might try a different scent the tangerine squeeze smelled really good at first but then i just didn't like it after all um i do like the fact that this is a hair and body mist it says it on the bottle because i like to spray my hair in case there are scents in my hair that i need to get out quickly Next up is the SkinCeuticals Physical Fusion UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Even Skin Tone 100% Mineral Filters Tinted Fluid. I really liked this one. Only thing I didn't love is look at how watery it is. So it's pretty watery, but the finish on it is really nice. I did get a different sunscreen in my FabFitFun box, so I'm actually using that one. But I think that once that one is all met, used up, you can just see like it gives my skin a very pretty sheen and just like glow. It finishes like a powder almost. It's really nice. I don't get any pilling issue with this in my lotion. It's just a really great sunscreen. I personally really, really like it. I like that it has the mineral filters and then just the SPF 50. Um, I will probably get this again. I really, really like this sunscreen. It is small, but I feel like you get a lot for the price. It, It's a pretty decently priced one, and it's, I really like this. Would repurchase. So this is just the box, but it's the Hydro Silk 5 Sensitive Care by Schick. So I got this from Shea Whitney, and I am obsessed with these razors. So I'm trying to be better about just changing my razors out every few shaves because I do get razor burn on my legs. So I'm trying to be a little bit better, but the sensitive care on these is incredible. So it has these like little protective guards around it. It does have the five blades, which is incredibly close. I love this razor. I was using the Billy razor and I hated that one. Um, so I got on this one and this one is great. I love this. This is 100% will repurchase, have repurchased. Love it. Speaking of shaving, I, I did get the moisturizing shave oil, Tree Hut Tahit, Tahitian Vanilla Bean. So I didn't love the scent of this. I actually got this online based off of someone's recommendation. I It's very artificial vanilla to me. Not a fan of the scent, but oils and shaving, I just feel like it clogs up the razor a little bit more than shaving cream or like the Barbasol stuff. Like I just feel like oils tend to clog the razor and I, I don't get the best shave with this, but I do feel like my legs are extra moisturized. So what I have been doing is I have been, instead of using a shave oil, I use a shaving cream to shave obviously. And then I use the um, Olay like in body or in shower body conditioner. And then I put that over my legs and then I'll shave again. So my legs feel extra moisturized. They are extra smooth. I love that process over this process, just because like I said, this can clog up my razor, at least for me. No, I will not be repurchasing. Okay. So this actually has like one use left, which is right there. If you can tell. So this is the Tatcha Rice Polish Classic. I love this. Um, I love the Tatcha exfoliators. Only thing I will say, this is an older packaging and they I do have a new one and they have changed it, which I love, but let me show you, look. Look at how disgusting that is because you're in the shower or at least I'm in the shower when I exfoliate my face for the most part and you're constantly moving this up and down <laughs> and it just gets extremely clogged. Um, like I said, has been fixed in the newer version, just thought it was funny to see it again. I love the Tatcha Rice Polishes. I do have the gentle one right now and I think I'm gonna go back to the classic once I finish that one, but this is just always a staple. I love this, I think that this is worth the money. You get so many uses out of this and it is the most gentle exfoliant, but my skin feels so soft afterwards. This, I'm diehard, I love this. Okay, I finally got to the point where I can lift the basket up, so that's exciting. Okay, so I have a couple of serums right here. 
So first up, I do have the Lifestyle Co. Detox Hair Serum Nutrient Plant Scalp Treatment. So this, I got this in a FabFitFun box and obviously it's a scalp oil. My hair, I have never had more dandruff, dandruff in my life than living here because the air is so incredibly dry. My skin is literally just falling off. Um, so this was incredibly nourishing. This did not soak into my hair as much as other serums have. I really, this felt like more of an oil to me. Um, it didn't really move around that much. It was a lot. I did have to wash it twice to get it out, but I do like having serums. I don't know if it was too harsh for my scalp. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to have to go more of the nourishing route than like the detoxing route, just because I think that my skin is really, really incredibly dry. So I don't think I'd go out of my way to repurchase this specific one, but I probably will repurchase a hair serum of some time type. And next up, we have the Coors Rebalancing Skin Supplement Serum Pre and Probiotics. I actually went to try and buy this again, and I cannot find it. Could not find it on Sephora. Don't know where this went, but I love this. I love Coors a lot. Anytime I try their stuff, I'm always impressed. It's very simple. It's not a lot of frills. It's just basic ingredients, and I really enjoy it. I love this. It's just a pretty basic serum. It's going to hydrate. It's going to do good things. I just love having this as a staple in my skincare. I know it's good. I know it's going to work. And if you know where to buy it, let me know because I do want to repurchase this. I just don't know where to, where to get it. Okay, so I have two body washes. Apparently, I go through a lot of body wash. So first up, I do have the Body Tea Tree Body Wash from The Body Shop. This obviously has been used. Like I said, I do tend to sweat a lot. So I normally have some sort of tea tree or extra strong body wash to wash the bits and pits just in case they're extra sweaty. Normally it's my freaking armpits. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get the smell out. Like I have to sit there and wash it like four times. I don't know what it is, but this works really, really well. Um, I will say that I actually am using the Dove Sensitive Care, just the bar, and I think that works better. It just neutralizes it. It's less expensive. It's easier. So I will not be repurchasing this just because I found a cheaper alternative, but if you are looking for something heavy duty and good and you just want to feel cleansed, I love this stuff. It's really good. Next up is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. So this I got because I was literally ripping my skin off from scratching my legs so much. Um, this is amazing if you just want a basic body wash. This is fragrance free. This has literally, I mean, it has a whole paragraph of ingredients, but it's just the most simple body wash. Doesn't have a scent if you like that no scent at all. Um, I really, really liked this. I loved having it around for my very, very dry legs. So that's what you're looking for. Love this. So this is actually the body conditioner that I was talking about earlier that I will go, that I will go over with the shaving the second time. Um, I, so I think this is the scent that I did not care for. Yeah, so this is the lavender scent, and to me, I just, I really, I don't love it. It smells dirty to me. Um, I'm not a huge fan. I did get a different scent. Love the product. I love what this does. I love that you rinse it off. I just, I like, <laughs> like not sound like broken record, but I have really dry skin. And having this is incredible in the shower. I know I want to try some other ones, but right now, Having this be a conditioner in the shower, it feels a little bit heavier than just like those lotions that you rinse off, but not too heavy where you have a film. It just is the perfect amount of hydration for me. I really enjoy these a lot. We're making our way. This is the last bath body product. Um, I, again, got this in my FabFitFun box. I got, got this silicone body scrubber. So... Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Loofahs are disgusting. Really, you should be changing them probably every week, if not 
more. And I have been trying to go the more hygienic route with these silicone scrubbers, but I don't like them. <laughs> I hate them. Um, I feel like they just don't get me as clean. I like having kind of the exfoliation that goes along with the loofah. I will accept the consequences of the fact that it's probably a little bit dirtier, but I feel like I'm getting a better clean if that makes absolutely no sense. But if you know, you know, like, you know? So I would rather repurchase loofahs a little bit more frequently because I just feel cleaner, I feel better, I feel less stinky, and a sweaty girl like me, I feel like we need to feel not so stinky. So I will not be repurchasing these. I do not like these. I always try and go back, and I think I'm gonna love it, and I don't, so no. Okay, now I have a bunch of little things. Well, little. This is the Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Lotion, Lavender Rose and Chamomile Relaxing Plant Powered Aromatherapy. My mom always gets me lotions for everything. This smells like a spa. So this smells like that lavender scent from the spa. I love having a nighttime scent lotion by my bed for my hands, just set the mood. And I did really enjoy this. Um, I felt like the scent really lasted, which I kind of like because it just felt like aromatherapy in my room. Um, very basic, no, no crazy anything about it. Just a great little hand cream. Didn't use it all over my body, so I can't really vouch for that. Um, but I use this more of a hand cream at night and sometimes on the bottom of my feet. And I really, really liked it. So the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops by Glow Recipe. The scent is delicious. Um, I love the watermelon scent. I really did like these. I think that it gave my skin kind of that like glass skin effect. So this is going to leave you with more of a hydrated sheen glassy look. This guy is going to sink into your skin and just have it feel hydrated and supple. So that's going to kind of be the difference. This I would use in the morning. This I would use anytime morning, night, whatever, don't care. This I would use in the morning to kind of give my skin the awake look. And I really, I really, really did like this. Um, I probably, like, I would repurchase. Oh, hey, there's still some in there. Like, look at that. So that is the difference. Um, it's exactly what I said, kind of that like glassy, glossy finish. I did obviously put a little bit too much but it will soak in. The scent smells like watermelon, but not too strong, very subtle. But yeah, I really like this. If you're just looking for a simple hydrating serum in the morning, this is gonna be really, really good. I really like this a lot. So this is the serum kind of soaked into my hand. So it kind of just has that very hydrated, glassy finish, which is really pretty. I don't even know why I was holding it up. You can barely even see what it is. So this is the First Aid Beauty I corrector serum thing. It has kind of that shade to it, which I really enjoy. Use this in the morning, gives you that awake look. Um, only reason I have not repurchased this is because I did get a, another one kind of similar to this and I'm trying it out. So we're going to see which one I like, but I really do enjoy this one. This was my go-to staple prior to the one I'm trying right now. I can't speak on the other one just yet because I haven't used it enough, but I, I do thoroughly enjoy this. If you follow um, Makeup by Kellyanne, her Instagram handle is MakeupXKA, I think. She recommended this and that girl knows what she's talking about, okay? And anything she says, I will buy. So, bought this and I love it. A lot of my makeup recommendations are from her. So if you don't follow her, follow her. So I feel like this is gonna be a bit controversial. Um, this is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And I didn't love it. Um, I It has these like rubberized wands, which normally I love. But I just felt like I couldn't really like get in there and comb with these things because they're just really flimsy. I felt like the the product itself, like the mascara itself was really thick and like watery. I just felt like it made my lashes clump in 0.2 seconds. I never gravitated towards this. I did not like these at all. Will not repurchase. So this is the Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus. Nest is so damn expensive, 
but having only gotten a couple of their like incredibly small size scents, I would pay good money to have my whole house smell this good. This is by far one of the better perfumes that I have ever worn. I am obsessed with this in the summer. Like I said, Hunkiss, Sun Kissed Hibiscus. I am obsessed with this. Um, just got the little roller ball, lasted me a decently long time. This scent would last on my skin. I would get whiffs of it all throughout the day. I love this. It's just too expensive for me right now. And I have a bunch of other like trial sizes that I'm trying to go through of other things. But this is, wow, I just had a coughing attack. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure I just wiped off all my makeup, but that's okay. Um, as to finish my thought, I'm obsessed with this. Go smile it. Tell me if you like it. If you have any other scents that you like from Ness, please let me know because I'm trying to smell them all. It's like Pokemon. I'm trying to smell them all. I just threw it. <laughs> Another perfume is, is the Replica by The Fireplace, Mason Margiela. Um, I love this. This smells like an actual fireplace. It's trippy. Um, I know it says by The Fireplace, but it smells like, like, a, like a legit fireplace. I would wear this at night before I went to sleep, and it just made me feel bougie. I'm not even going to lie. That's the only reason I did it before I went to sleep, and I loved it every single second of it. I have another one that I'm trying to like use, but I don't love the scent as much. These things are so damn expensive. Like this little bottle I think was $25. I'm not even joking you, but it was the best $25. It did take me a really long time actually to go through this because I was only spraying one spray like at night. Um, I just can't bring myself to drop $30 on it again right now, but I really want the full size. Maybe I'll ask for that for Christmas because I love this scent for night. I don't think it would be like a scent that I would wear out, um, just not my, not my style, but this just makes me feel cozy and happy and just ready for bed. I love this scent so, so much. Okay, you all, we made it to the last three products and they are makeup products. So let's do the two that are the most similar first. First up is their Real Mascara. So I did get this little box mascara thing that Ulta, when Ulta was having like a special on it. So that's how I got all these little ones. This, I like this type of brush. I feel like it's definitely more stable. It's not as loose. It is still rubberized, um, but I like this type of brush versus the Bad Gal Bang. They're real. I like this line a lot more than the Bad Gal line. I think that this is right up my alley. I also have their Real Magnet, and I have spoken about this specific one before, and between the two, I love the Magnet one. It's always a staple. I do have two others that I'm actually using right now. One of them is drugstore, and I really like it, but I think what, the other one is running out, and I think I'm going to repurchase this one. I really like this one. It's a great staple for me. It thickens. It separates it does all the things and i think it's a great finishing mascara for me it's really dark and i like that dark look right by the eyelid um i always wear like black eye or i used to always wear like black eye eyeliner so i really like that dark base on my mascara and i think the the magnet one gives that to me a little bit better than the regular one i've just never been i can't say why but between the two i always went back to this one no real reason Nothing at all, but this one is better. And my final, final, final product is so used and abused, you can't even see the name, but let's throw it up here. So if you couldn't tell, that is the Anastasia, 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 Brow Wiz. Um, I got this in taupe and the spoolie has completely broken off the back. I have used this down to the nub like, there is nothing coming out of this at all. There's nothing. Um, I really do like this. My thing is, is I have had two of these and the spoolie has broken off both of these. And that's why I like this pencil. I like this pencil so much is because it's like one. But this little guy is too expensive too. And I think you can get the NYX one, which is incredibly cheaper um and it works just as well so i'm going to try the next one i have so much product that i'm actually trying to go through right now 
that I'm trying to go through my actual makeup stash without buying new products. And I'm trying to go through it, but if I do repurchase, I will not be repurchasing this. I will be repurchasing the NYX if they have a great match, which I will update you on because I need a good match for my brows because they're not brown, but they're not blonde. And that's why I like this taupe color. So it kind of depends on the color shade match as well. Okay, everybody, we made it. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching my entire video. I cannot express to you how much I appreciate it. I am trying to grow this little family right now. Um, I need my ladies here. So if you are a lady and you are still here, please hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get more females over here. So I appreciate you all. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you liked it, share it with a friend if you think it's worth sharing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.